And you live in Cochran, right? I do. Okay. But I actually have a Hawkinsville zip code. Oh, okay. Because that's why my mail runs, but I live in Black County. Yeah, put the zip code. Do you know the zip code for your 31036. Okay. okay. The type of home ownership you have, are you a renter or owner? Owner. The type of structure, is it single family detached, townhome, condo, apartment? Single family detached. And the approximate date you moved into your home? October 2016. Okay. And then, have you always lived in Blakely County? Uh, except for when I went to Ath- when I went to Georgia. Oh, for college. Mm-hmm. But you, um, you've always lived here, though. Yeah, I've always been a resident. Okay. So tell me how your family ended up in Cochran. Uh, Is it like your grandparents and your parents? Are they from Cochran too? They are. You got some generations too, like yeah. that's been here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, as far as I can remember. Okay. So, can you tell me um, a little bit about the kind of home you live in? Like the amount of bedrooms and bathrooms and square footage? Three bedroom, two bath. Okay. And then um, the square footage? About 1600. It's okay. a trailer, double wide. Okay. And then um, what type of roof is it? Shingle. Okay. Have you invested in solar either on the rooftop of your home, on your property, as part of the business or part of a program through utility? No, ma'am. Okay. And then uh, tell me why you have not adopted. Tell me why you do not have rooftop solar. Did you make that decision or was it made for you? Yeah, the house, when we bought it, we mm-hmm. bought it brand new. Okay. 16, so it's a 2017 year model okay. trailer. Uh-huh. But yeah, it wasn't, it weren't, it wasn't installed. It wasn't an option. Oh, okay. Uh, so the big, I guess the biggest reason is I've never had anybody, to, you know, talk about it or offer the service. Okay. Uh, I guess it's something that I have to need to research on my own. Okay. Well, that's awesome. And then, if you had the option, would you put rooftop solar on your home? Yeah. I mean, if if I, th- if I thought it was feasible and it was worth, okay, you know, it was worth it. Um, and and you, you know, your return, you get a return off of it. Okay. Can I ask you a question? You work with a lot of farmers. Mm-hmm. Do you think they would benefit from solar panels? In what way? I don't know. The only way, the only way would be, well, the only way I'm familiar with, you talked about the commercial. Yeah. If there was a piece of property that was, uh, that wasn't very profitable uh-huh. farming-wise, say the soil wasn't very good. Yeah. Then they might could benefit from leasing that property out and make more money off of, you know, getting putting solar panels on it, getting paid. Yeah. Then they would off what they're making on farming, but I don't know. So that that'd be the only thing I can think as far as beneficial to the farming operation. Yeah. I don't. I'm not aware of any. Well, y'all, uh, it was one farmer. I think it was in Houston County. I did an interview with. He said something about the the wells and the irrigation for his pecans. Mm-hmm. He got about three fifty to four hundred acres. Mm-hmm. His electricity bill is high. Yeah. You work with pecan and cotton farmers. Are they using that same type of irrigation system? I guess. You mean between pecan farmers and cotton farmers? Yeah. Did they use a water system that needs oh. electricity? Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. So could they, I guess, benefit from Take it? A lot of. A lot, lot of electric- electricity. They do? Yeah. I mean, to run a pivot. Um, yeah, the pivot. Yeah. That's 480 volts. Really? Yeah. So we got, you're either running off of a, a diesel motor uh-huh. or either an uh, electric motor. Hmm. But you got to have three phase electricity running 480 volts to the pivot, the power to pivot, and then to the well, the power to the well. So, How much is that for them? Do what? What's their bill like? It's a lot. It's about. Because is that a separate bill that they have? Oh yeah. From y'all's electric company. Mm-hmm. 
So if you are here, it'd be Georgia Power uh -huh. or uh, Old Mulgee EMC, mostly. Or if you're on the north end of the county, you'd be Oconee EMC. But uh -huh. yeah, they get a bill. If it's electric, if it's diesel, uh -huh. you got to pay for the diesel. To yeah. Pump. I think it's like, I cannot remember. I know, I'm, I've seen a number, I think it's like $7 an acre every hour or something like that. They, Dave is, that's the man you need to ask about that. He's, Dang. It's more expensive right now to run diesel. Right. Because diesel's more higher. I think yeah. it's about twelve dollars. Cool. But uh electricity is cheaper, but you got to have access to three phase power. Is that the hard part for the farmers to find well, is that three phase? On, depends on where you're at. If there's already three phase line run, like there's a lot of houses and all around. Yeah. It's more than likely you've already got three phase power. Right. But if it's out in the middle of nowhere, you got it's just single phase a lot of times, so oh. you can't run that power off of single oh. phase. Oh, okay, well, that makes sense. Oh, so do you think they would benefit from a program talking about solar energy? Possibly, if there's a way to, if there is a way to generate enough electricity mm -hmm. off of solar, yeah, then yeah, I mean definitely. Okay. That'd be something. We have to figure, you know, so that'd, be, that'd be something. I'm sure there's there's research being being done about it. I'm sure. Right. I just asked that question. I know you work with a lot of farmers, and I just thought about, you know, if there was some type of programming, how could we gear it towards agriculture? That's and right. Help them. Um, well, they'd be all for it if it saved them some money. <laughs> I know that's right. So on the second part. There's, we're going to talk about solar general, uh, solar energy in general in the United States. Here's a map of um, this. On that blank map, if you could, can you put an X or a star on where you think people have the most rooftop solar energy in their homes? On the blank? And this is over the whole U.S.? Yes. And you just put a blank, you can put a check, you can put a star on whatever states you think that has the most rooftop solar energy so just the states or you want an individual uh, uh just the states okay just the states mm -hmm. so probably california mm -hmm. new york maybe how many you want however many you think it's there's no right or wrong answers you can just check as many as you like probably a lot of those states are there in the northeast Say like Georgia. We'll go with that. Okay. So what we got here? Georgia, Florida, New York. Okay. Kentucky, or I mean, uh, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, California. And why did you choose these states? As far as uh, um, generally because. And what what makes them two different from um, Blakely County? Well, the only reason I checked Georgia was because of Atlanta. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, I chose, you know, states with pretty high population. Okay. Got a lot of wealthy people. Okay, population and, and wealth. Yeah. Okay. Probably more of a market for it in those states. It's probably more advertised, I'm sure, than it is in rural Georgia. Right. Say... Mm -hmm. You know, Hollywood. I mean, <laughs> probably all the, you know, I'm sure all the movie stars and all have solar panels and all this and that. Right. So. So why do you think they have, um, why don't you think Blakely has any solar panels? I feel like rooftops? because, I feel like it's because no one has educated anyone about it. Not necessarily educated, but mm -hmm. even brought it up to their attention okay that's what that's my thoughts on it i don't mean when you go to buy a house or build a house mm -hmm. is that something that uh you know a, a architect or a, mm -hmm. a home builder or construction team is, do they talk about that do they tell homeowners like hey you ought to think about doing solar panels solar panels yeah that's true and I'm not aware of that, but it may be more. I haven't built a house yet, so it may be more and more common now. Right. So the second part, 
Now you're going to talk about the state of Georgia. Mm -hmm. And you can say where you've seen them on the rooftops or even um, where you think they might have solar rooftops. Just check it. Mm Mm-hmm. Check the county for me. All right. Okay. What you got? You got Chatham County. Mm Mm-hmm. Which is uh, Savannah. Uh Uh-huh. Augusta. Uh Uh-huh. Oh. All four counties of Atlanta. <laughs> Lynette. Yeah. Cab, Fulton, Cobb. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, I got Monroe County. Okay. And then Houston County. Okay. Maybe i probably add Columbus. Okay. And then can you tell me why you think they, the people in those communities, the ones you identified, how are they different from their compared to Blakely? Probably because there's a lot more wealthy people in those counties. Okay. Uh, technology is probably a little more advanced as far as that goes in those counties. Okay. Uh, a lot of newer homes. Okay. Or not necessarily newer homes, but more more advanced homes being built probably. Okay. Probably more information is given in those counties, I would assume. Okay. About you know, solar technology and things like that. Right. And there's no right or wrong answer, like I said. Um, and then tell me why you think the people here in Blakely, again, why they just might not have those rooftops compared to the counties you talked about. Yeah, I'd say the same thing. Same just thing? Lack, lack of knowledge of the technology. Not that, they, that you know, they're aware of solar technology, but I just don't think it's something that's really talked about or, or uh, encouraged. And money is another thing. Does it cost? If it costs more money to do it, then you know. Right. So, what about any of your close friends in the state of Georgia that you can think of? Do they have solar on their rooftop? Not that I know of. <laughs> <laughs> and why do you think they don't? Same reason. They don't know anything about it. Okay. Alrighty. Anything else you like to talk about? As far as with this? What, is there any... Is As far as what we talked about, what are the... Do you have the information behind that? No. We're you trying know? to find out. Okay. What we really want to do is we want to see if this is a need. There are some grants out there. Um, somebody came to our county in Houston County and did a whole interview, well, a presentation about solar. And at that time, there were grants for it. Uh-huh. So you would get a subsidized grant to cover installing your solar panels. Um, and then you would get a tax write-off, uh-huh. too, at the end of the year. But there, there is some <coughs> companies and grant fundings that they're doing that with. And then just me interviewing other people, they just said, uh, one guy said, one of his friends in the northern state, they actually pay him for his electricity, his solar panels. Um, he has them all on his house. It runs his house, but he also has it on his land um, to run it, to give. But he said he's been doing that for years. So it's almost like it takes a while, then he's finally getting by that okay. from it. But we're just asking so we can just see what's the need and see where we can go from here with these interviews and stuff. Yeah, is, do you, is there a lot? I mean, is there a lot around here? What, solar panels? Yeah. <laughs> I've seen them. Well, people have said there's some here in Dublin at the high school. There's several panels, those type of panels. I don't know what they're doing with them. And then somebody said that it was a company here that was solar panels. Yeah. But they I've closed seen down. I mean, they're I've, somewhere on these highways. Yeah, but I've nobody seen knows. Those. Yeah, but no, nobody knows what they're doing with them. I don't know about rooftops, though. The rooftops, it was only maybe one person that told me that they've seen them at, at their house, on their house. And they they said that they're battery operated, so they're using it for their house versus, I don't know if they're still using, what we got, Flint? No, it depends, because Perry's Georgia Power. Mm-hmm. So it depends on who it is. I don't know if they're using them or they're just using their solar power energy. Yeah. For that. Yeah, I mean, I've seen, and I know there's some, there are some individuals who have, who put solar panels, but it's not mm-hmm. for them. Yeah. It's, for, it's a company, you know, re- leasing the land. Oh. Putting panels on that land. And then they're, and they're getting paid. 
because they're leasing it out to them. Yeah. But they don't know what they're doing with that solar power. I thought those panels up there on uh, like 87 going to Macon. Yeah. All those on the left. Yeah. Those, I thought that was Georgia Power, but maybe it ain't. Really? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. 